Hi folks, hope you're doing well. Blake here and I'm back with a new YouTube video. Now regular viewers might notice it's been a little while since my last one. Sorry for that, there's a few reasons. First of all, you can notice I've got a different background, so I've actually moved house. But as well as that, I've also had to get a new computer since the last one broke. But we're back to normal now, and I've also got some great news. If you've followed me recently, you'll notice I've recently released a brand new single called The End of the World. It's a really good track, I'm really happy with it, and it's doing really well on streaming platforms as well. I'll put a link down below in case you wanna have a listen and haven't heard it yet. And alongside this, I've also recorded my first ever live action music video, which you can get now on my channel, and I'll put a link to it just up here as you are watching this video. So I thought it'd be interesting to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes vlog for the music video. I had a great time filming it. I actually filmed it with my brother, who is a film graduate and an independent film director, and it came out great and we had such a good time. So I'm gonna talk you through it, the song, the behind the scenes of filming it, and show you a few little outtakes as well. Okay, let's get into it. So as I mentioned, the song is called The End of the World, and I wrote it a few years ago, and I thought it was a clever way to look at the common phrase, especially the one we have in Britain anyway, where when you're talking about something in a negative way, someone might respond with, it's not the end of the world, meaning it's not as bad as you're making out, you're exaggerating, you know, the world's not gonna end because of this little thing that's happened to you. And I thought it'd be an interesting idea to take that and think about things that may represent the actual end of the world. So, you know, things that affect changes to the climate or the temperature, the humidity of the world, that sort of thing. But also things that might represent our own personal end of the world scenario. So your mental and physical health and the choices you make in terms of your lifestyle, that sort of thing. So I had this idea a few years ago. It actually came to me during the bushfires in Australia when it felt like a lot of big things were happening and it was really serious news and also certain people weren't taking it seriously and were kind of having this it's not the end of the world kind of approach um, and yeah do go and listen to the song I'm really happy with it. it came out really great I recorded it with Mark so I've mentioned Mark Tug before he's got um, a band of his own they're called the Fishers and I they're kind of quite a kind of heavy rock but sort of kind of grunge punk sort of band they make some great stuff and mark is a fantastic kind of mixing engineer as well he does some mixing and mastering and we recorded it in his kind of home studio and i'm really happy with how it came out it's a really organic song recording process so generally how i will record a song is i'll write something on guitar i'll maybe write the chords the melody and i'll sing along to it and then i might do a few bits on loop pedal where i'm looking at what kind of bass ideas what kind of little guitar lead bits do i want to add in and then we go from there we record it and then we start putting different elements in and you'll see there's some great things in this one and i had this idea of making a music video for it now you might have seen if you followed me for a little while on youtube that for my last couple of singles, I've actually had animated videos. And I really enjoyed this, but I thought it'd be great in my next single to kind of put my identity on my music and be in a live action music video. So as a result, after Mark and I had finished putting the final touches on the end of the world, the single, I thought about making this kind of live action music video. And I contacted my brother, my real life brother, Joe, who is a very talented film graduate and he works on independent film projects as well. And essentially I sent him over the song and asked him, do you have any ideas for what we could kind of film with this? I'd really like to do something where I'm involved with it. Do you have any thoughts? And he had a listen and he had a really great idea of painting it as though I was the last person in existence and I'd kind of buried myself away. I was a recluse in a kind of fallout shelter and I'd buried myself away and I was watching the end of the world as it unraveled and that's exactly what we filmed. So I thought that idea sounded great and I had somewhere in mind that we could convert from being basically a kind of outdoor garage essentially into being a fallout shelter of sorts. So we arranged a date and then when he came round we transformed it into looking like it was quite run down because it's the end of the world but also a very kind of confined living space. So there was a sleeping bag on the floor, there was kind of food containers that I'd been eating from, there was kind of a place to wash myself, there was a kind of desk set up, and on this desk there was a few different monitors, and on each of them I was watching kind of the world unfold. 
so I was watching you know storms and things like that happen so really kind of painting this picture of the end of the world kind of doomsday scenario and it was really nice we had a lot of little touches as well so like a little kind of washing line that was hung up hanging photographs uh, of people that I cared about and can remember from my previous life and also hanging things like my socks and my pants and things like that. I think it looked really great and Joe got the lighting completely spot on as well so it was it's quite a dark video I think you can see enough to know exactly what's going on but it's dark on purpose to say I'm kind of at the end of existence you know. So once we had everything set up then I had to think about my costume and essentially my makeup, making me look like I hadn't seen Civilization in a while. So I went to a charity shop and I picked out a couple of things. I picked out some what I would call survivalist clothing, some kind of forest coloured, um, little bit faded clothing and we kind of cut some holes in it as well, we made it look a lot more kind of dishevelled and we also kind of put a lot of makeup on me to make it look like I was really dirty and I hadn't seen the light of day in a while. Um, so I had a lot of help with that and while you're listening to this I'll be showing you a few clips of me getting my final costume and makeup touches done as I kind of transform into being this homeless protagonist in the music video. So I think a challenging part of making an official music video is taking the song and trying to bring the characters to life in the video and also doing so without taking too much attention off the music because that's what really you're trying to sell is the track you've made. And I think Joe did a great job of this and especially with his editing. So we did a lot of shots which were kind of focusing a little bit on the environment. There's a few close-up clips looking at things around the fallout shelter, giving you some kind of, just kind of slightly lit tones, just showing you kind of just enough that you can see that I've been living here and what the kind of vibe of the place is like, but also showing it's quite a dark atmosphere and it's representing very much the end of existence, the end of kind of civilised world and that sort of thing. And obviously it is a kind of a little bit dystopian but that kind of goes in line with the song. And yeah, getting the shots was really fun. So quite a few of them are me playing to the camera and playing alongside the song as you will have seen in many different music videos. But we also wanted a kind of constant ongoing sense of what life in this scenario is like and also what the characters kind of doing as they kind of slip into madness or maybe slip into acceptance that it is the end of the world and I think we've shown that quite well hopefully um, not saying I'm a good actor because I'm definitely not <laughs> but luckily li very limited acting was required from my part but we went through a lot of different shots and I think we had some great ideas so basically I'm shown to first of all be playing the song and in my free time playing guitar but I'm also shown to be reading, cooking for myself, cleaning myself, all that sort of stuff. Just taking care of like everyday life as it would be for a recluse. And also investigating the outside world. So looking at things on the monitors which represent the end of the world and looking out the window when it looks like there's fire outside or there's something illuminating outside which is a hazard, a danger to me sort of thing. So we had a few props in the video and one that I really enjoyed was a kind of digital alarm clock and it really had that sort of doomsday feel to it and Joe had a great idea of basically constantly changing the day and the time and the year and everything on this clock so that the audience hasn't really got a clue of how much time has passed during the music video. We don't know how long it's taken for the end of the world to come, we don't know how long the character's been in there, how long they can last in there, that sort of thing. And that was all on purpose to make it kind of a little bit of an open question of what is the end of the world, how long does it take, how long can someone survive in kind of solitude. And I think the way it's shown is really great. Um, I've actually got this prop available and I might give it away. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do something on Instagram. I think it was about 40 quid or so, and I don't have need for an alarm clock, and it's quite a cool looking one. So if anybody wants it, do let me know. And I feel like these ideas came together to give me a great music video that I'm really happy with, that had that great balance of kind of dystopian, end of the world sort of feeling, but also a kind of tongue in cheek, kind of, you know, uncertainty and those two things were really what I was going for. So if you are interested in the video after hearing this please do go and check it out. I'll put a link below and there was one in the cards earlier on. But just to finish off it was great fun filming with my brother and as you can imagine 
because I'm not a great actor and this is the first music video I've filmed and been in myself. There are a few outtakes, so here are some of my favourite outtakes from filming my official music video for The End of the World. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching. That was a behind the scenes vlog talking about my recent music video for my latest single, The End of the World. If you've not seen it, do go and check out the official music video and go and stream the song. I'm really proud of it and I really hope you enjoy it too. If you like this sort of stuff, then in general, I do a video on YouTube about every week when I've got a working computer, which I now have again. So please do consider clicking the subscribe and notification bell buttons. Then you get notified every time I do a new video on YouTube. And it's not only stuff related to my own music, I do loads and loads of music related content on YouTube. Thanks very much. Take care of yourself and see you next time. After all, it's not happened yet. Not the